Looking for somebody I can call to Looking for the only one that I can give my all to Tell me if it's you, you, you What you wanna do, do, do Make a move You can be my teacher, I'll do homework You can give me extra credit, baby, I'll do more work What you wanna do, do Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today, we have another headband wig. And as a lot of y'all know, I'm no stranger to headband wigs. I have reviewed quite a few of them on my channel. Human hair, synthetic hair, whatever hair. <laughs> I've done it, and I have an entire playlist dedicated to them. Them, so please check out my headband wig playlist after this video binge watch it I'm sure you'll find something that fits your needs and your budget. So today's wig is from a company I have never worked with before Erin 21 and I've seen a few people review their hair and people liked it So I was happy when they reached out because their wigs look good and they are also affordable Now I know I gave you all the specs to this wig already So we're just gonna dive right into my pros and cons starting with the pros first pro absolutely is the overall style and color of this hair as Especially once I have her in this half up, half down style, I think she looks super cute. You did see me wet her a little bit and put mousse, but honestly, I just prefer her dry. That's just my personal preference. I know some people, when they get this like type of, like a water wave texture, they do like to wet it and that's fine, but I like my hair to look kind of like bedhead hair almost, a little bit messy, not too neat, not too compact. So I really like the style of this unit. This is an average cap size and it's fitting my medium size head very well. I actually adjusted the straps pretty tight and it's fitting very snugly, so I don't think it's going anywhere. Right now, I'm not even using the comb, so there's that. I did put on one of my rhinestone headbands, which I bought from Amazon. If you're interested in them, check them out down below, as well as my other headbands. I have so many, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. If you look at my bin here, I know it's a little hard to see because of my lighting, but I have so many headbands in here. This bin is from Amazon as well. And in case y'all need a bin for your headbands, I'll link that down below too. Now, as much as I wanted to absolutely love this wig because of the curl pattern and color off the pack, I did have a few cons. And it first started when I initially put the wig on my head. I felt like this type of like residue of sorts and I wasn't sure what it was. And I was like, okay, well I'm about to wash it anyway, so no worries. But when I started washing it, the color started coming out, but it wasn't just a little bit, like a lot of color started coming out as I washed this unit. And I was concerned. <laughs> because I've had a colored human hair headbanding wig before and even though I didn't like submerge it in water, when I wet that wig, there was no color coming out of my hands and there was also no residue. So I am not sure if that's normal for this wig. And I did contact the company about it and I'm waiting for a response because it almost feels like maybe the coloring job wasn't complete or wasn't sealed, I'm, I'm not sure. And I just wish that didn't happen because I really love the color of this wig. And honestly, I felt like it prevented me from properly washing the wig I, the way I wanted to because of the fact that I saw the color coming out and I just kind of stopped mid-wash because I was like, I'm not trying to wash out all the color. I don't know what's happening, you know what I mean? So I actually did receive a response from Erin21 and they told me that it is normal for the red color to come out several times when first washing, but the color will stay on the wig. So it's nothing to really be worried about. And I can attest to that because I did wash the wig again while I was on vacation several times. The color was coming out, but it was coming out less and less. So I just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know that is just what this particular red wig does. 
Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you've ever, ever experienced when washing colored human hair wigs, because I just haven't experienced that before. Another contest unit I would say is just like the ends. And this is not just particular to this wig. I have noticed this on maybe two other wigs where the ends were very like stringy as if it needed a, a really good trim. I didn't trim all of it right now because it just would take me quite a bit of time, but I just trimmed enough to make myself feel better about it. This wig does come with conditioner but I did not use it so maybe if I use the conditioner maybe the ends wouldn't be so stringy but for this unit I definitely suggest you wash and condition it straight out the box because this is a colored unit and it seems like maybe the color also contributed to like the dryness of these ends but overall these are my thoughts on this headband wig I think she looks very cute and very pretty I just didn't enjoy the process of washing her and styling her the way I normally would because I was just off put by what happened with the color please let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below how are you feeling about this half up half down how do you feel about this color is she fall ready or not let me know and of course if you are not into color Erin 21 has other wigs on their website and definitely check out other reviews because I've watched a few and people seem to love their water wave unit in particular and their jerry curl I believe so I will check that out as well as for the price this is definitely more affordable than some other companies I definitely saw on their website I think 22 inches for under $200 and if you are new here make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up be sure to check out my headband wig playlist Check out my other links in the description box. Feel free to shop my links so you can support this channel. And we are on the road to 20K, y'all. I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much for supporting Is That Your Hair. It truly means the world to me. Shout out to Erin21 for sponsoring this video. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.